Hey, what's up? How's it going? Let's see. Uh, King Fighters 2006, PlayStation 2. You're here with J4D Boy. I'm picking somebody. What's this guy's name? Uh, I think I get his name in a moment here. Yori Yagami. Yori Yagami. All right, cool. Yeah, he's he's already. Oh, I'm not even gonna be able to read this. I'm gonna go and try. Kyo Kusnagi will die by these hands in the end. The raised the ashtray of oh, Yori Gami is one sole thing. But there is one thing that can move his otherwise unmovable icy heart. That was a young man called Kyo Kusnagi. Not even Yori himself can explain why he loves Kyo Kusnagi. So the love and resentment last in 550 years between the Kusnagi and y Yasukani. Fate of Orochi bloodline, all that nothing to do with lower desire versus insanity. What well, keeps the origami link to this world may only be this only thought that borders on madness. But this invitation at any rate just may lead him to Kyo Kusanagi. I clearly would not have been able to read all of that. Should I go ahead and do the disclaimer? Let me get it out of the way. Uh, fighting games, I suck at them, I have fun playing them, but I suck at them, and, uh, I could use, uh, getting combos and special moves down past. Well, fuck it, right? Damn it, it's, uh... Appears that the audio and video is out of sync again. Shitty. No, no. This sound a little out of sync though. Maybe. Maybe it's just the playback, but otherwise it's seeming like it's okay, I suppose. So, yeah, actually, what I was like fucking started doing, I was went into the training mode so I could at least get some of the special moves down, Pat. Uh, I didn't get all of them down pat, but, uh, as far as having those down pat, yeah, that's cool. So, uh, yeah, I think, I did I already do it? Uh, I'll go ahead and let the next portion get out of the way or whatever, so... Um, whoever this fucking guy is. Story. Okay, so anyway, I like to point out every video that I'm catching up on stuff. Uh, I recorded this back on May 5th, and today is July 7th. So that's over two months ago that I recorded this. Um... I can't comment on when this video will go online, though. It should go online in the next week, so we'll see how that goes. And this is part one of this guy's uh, playthrough thing, so we'll see. Um, yeah. Actually, oh, there we go. Sweet. There we go. Gone now. Apparently this got rather, uh, rave reviews, as far as this goes. And it feels like a really nice, decent fucking fight engine game, too, so that's excellent, too. Ah, shitty. Let, let's see, hold on. Alright, so... There we go. I don't know, it seems like Yorigami is, like... Moderately borderline, possibly fucking insane as shit. What fucking move was that, dick? Just bow down. It's my turn to win and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. You first. So, uh. How are we gonna do this? 
Athena. Asamiya. She's actually pretty cool, even though I beat her up. I mean, he doesn't care. Uh, it's a girl. He's gonna beat her up. It's like, bitch, you didn't make my dance sandwiches or some such shit like that. So, somebody clearly gets an ass whooping right there. Uh, let me roll with it. I probably would add this video up soon. I was just mad busy the past few days. Had a... Had a... Let's see. Had a friend's kid's birthday the other day, so that had me out all night. Then it was Ju the 4th of July, so that had me out all night again. But I think we bonded alright. Uh, and then last night I went to a, a show. It was actually pretty dope. Just like that move was. So, uh, let me see. It opened with Dust Spot, then Mr. Motherfucking X Choir. Uh, yeah, this was what? July 6th. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll let him do his little crazy laugh. Insane thing right there. So, uh, uh, I'll just let this do its thing and I'll. Whatever. Okay, let's go. Seth. Round one. Fight. I was under the impression Seth was a black guy. Cause he at least looks black in the um the other 2D games. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see. July 6th, Chicago, Illinois, Bottom Lounge. Uh, open with Death Spot. I think that's how I'm saying. Death Spot, the spot, whatever spot. Uh, then there was Mr. Motherfucking X Choir. Then followed up with Killer Mike. And out. Finishing LP. It was pretty dope, and honestly, I haven't. I'm not entirely too familiar with any of their work. However, enjoyed myself. I still need to get on top of seeing what uh, shit they have to offer from their catalogs as far as good, dope, fun shit goes. Um. There we go. It took an hour. There we go. I think I put up a decent fight this round, and he actually threw down pretty well, too, as far as Seth goes. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. There we go, I think I went off with a nice finish right there. Oh, even more so with that one, too. So. Oh, like, fuck it, you bitch. I win. I'm thy winner. Let's go. What else? Um, something's up next. One of my favorites. Titties. You will sweat blood. <laughs> May Shiranui. I actually did like a quick test that was failure at the beginning of this playlist. If you check that out, you don't have to. It's complete terrible failure. 
Uh, I'm gonna say it happened with the HD PVR, I think. I think. I don't remember. I threw it up anyway, though. So, uh, as far as that goes, it was terrible. But I went threw down with Mei Shiranui, and I couldn't really see what was happening in real time because the playback on the HD PVR preview when you're recording, like, lags by a few seconds as it's, you know, showing whatever's going on. And surprisingly, I won like one or two rounds with her, and I'm like, holy shit. How the fuck did I do that, right? So, I ran with that idea. And, uh, yeah. And there we go. Ooh, and I didn't. Oh, yeah, it's the one where like he gets like more powerful over time, but it also eats his life as well. So as long as you can whoop their ass before they whoop your ass, you're in the clear. I think I win. Yeah, like bitch. So.